Uh, my wife says I ignore my health, and she's probably right. And two years ago, it almost killed me. Now I've got one of these in my heart. Replaced my diseased aortic valve. This is titanium and bovine heart tissue. I got a cow valve. Others have a pig valve or a metal valve. My dad had a metal valve. If it was quiet, you could hear he's ticking in his chest. So here from a, a view, this is how your aortic valve is supposed to look. It's healthy, but mine looked even worse than this. Uh, whether it was open or closed, it was, wasn't working well. So I had to go into my heart and replace it. And I get one of these. So when I you know, go to the airport places, uh, I've got a titanium part in my heart. Got the serial number covered up. Don't know if that makes different artificial heart valve. Now, I'll tell a little bit about why I ignored it and, uh, and what happened. So, um, I ignored it because I was a very healthy guy most of my life. High school, ran track, got the paper, the local paper, school paper. Here I am on a relay race. <laughs> you know, I don't know what the problem is with these guys dropping batons. That was the thing our, our coach drilled us on over and over. That's the key part. I mean, you, everybody's fast. Team with the best handoffs usually wins. I can't find my uh, marathon paperwork, but I ran a marathon later. So I'm fire department, ambulance, rescue squad. Uh, worked for a while at McConnell Air Force Base. Here I'm number 21, this was a Football team I played on as an adult. Uh, I was quarterback. And in high school, on the cross country team, that's me, I'm still number 21. Here, May 1982. Wichita River Festival Parade, that's before the parade started. Bunch of great guys up on the fire department, that's me. Captain Peterson, Scotty Pike, Dan, uh, Smokey the Bear, Sea Graves, Rick Brazil, and best young firefighter I ever met, Steve Bell. Archibald Froman was the best older firefighter. So uh, I was very active, I was used to it. So in August 2020, so that way it was dry, so the grass turned brown, I didn't have to mow after August. And it always took about two hours. March, at the March 30th, I think, very end of March, I went out to mow, but I had to stop after 10 minutes. I sat for an hour, completely exhausted. Later, I actually sent emails to my buddy saying I was so out of shape I could only mow for 10 minutes. That was the final time I mowed. I went downhill. I, I just didn't believe it. But I didn't go to the doctor for over a year. When I did, I was diagnosed as being in congestive heart failure due to aortic valve disease. My aortic, aortic valve was virtually gone. You know how you have a love dub? I didn't. So they did an operation here, put the artificial valve in. And uh, I've lived more than two years. That was July 2022. And this is September 2024. 
I, uh, 68 and a half years old, still going. So, you know, my wife, she does everything as scheduled, you know, has her checkups, goes to her doctor, takes her pills. Yeah, I have to deal with it now that I have diabetes and give myself insulin shots every day and so forth. And I've got this valve. Would have been caught earlier? I don't know, maybe, if I'd go to the doctor more often. Somebody put a stethoscope on my chest, they could have said, well, that's not normal. We need to check. So what I'm encouraging you, if you've got a problem, yeah, I understand perfectly well. I, it's the same way. I didn't go to the doctor. I had trouble breathing. Uh, I knew, but I just thought, well, I'm getting old. I'm not in shape. It was more than that. So anyway, I'm very grateful to Dr. His name here is it's one of the heart surgeons, Sanjay Kicha and Peyush Grover. I wouldn't be alive Well, Dr. Nugent, my primary care, was the initial diagnosed and referred me. He said, you, you've got a serious problem. So it's taken care of as best can be for now. Still don't have much energy, but I'm still living and expect to live a few years more. Uh, so guys, Go to the doctor if you got a problem. Check it out.